support, support preferences. Okay, so I've loaded the first couple of videos around setup tasks and offering support for items. Now we get to the support preferences and as you can see there's quite a few of them. Um, feel free to use this sheet to do the setup and have the debate before you get your licenses. Right, so there is our sweet answer, 11075. Um, and let's go, I'll show you where to find it. It is setup, support, support preferences. Right, default case form to send customer. Yep, got that tick. So for the most part, I have um, used defaults. Um, I have set up a support uh, case profile which is the next video that I'm going to make after this one. Preferences escalate to support reps only. Yes, I want to go to support reps only. Receive customer reply is in case list only. Messages reopen closed cases. Only link approved solutions to cases. Right, so let's just have a quick look here. Right, so send to customer. Check this box if you want the send customer box on a case record enabled by default. Right, so you've got to decide there, and there it says we do it. Um, when you save a case record with the box checked, an email message containing the text from the reply to customer field is sent to the contact for the case and any employee selected. Note, you cannot check this box if you have the internal only box checked and therefore cannot set both boxes. Right, so you will see here you cannot have both of these checked. Okay. Um, right, default case from form to internal only. Check this box if you want replies to cases marked internal only by default. Internal only replies cannot be viewed by customers. Right, so I would imagine when there's um, emails from reps that they don't want to see be seen by customers this is what you're going to do you can still choose to so show and send re um, reply comments to customers by clearing the internal box on individual cases so it is a default that you can still change you cannot check this box in the email reply box on, on case records therefore you cannot set both boxes like I just showed you right case profile like I said I'll just do another video about that in a second escalate to support reps only check this box if you only allow cases to escalate support reps if you check this box only employees with the support reps box checked on the employee record appear in right so let me very quickly just go and show you if you go and look at your employees right and I'm thinking it's going to be that one and then if you go and look on your I believe on your human resources tab which I will show you in one second if my slow internet can get there there you go right and here you can see there's a support rep box there now it's very important to have that box tick for any employees where you want them to be able to work on cases and get case mails right so that is that one let me go back to the support right so then we are up to there now these four next um, six defaults I've left them as they are right for new cases not started the other options in progress reopened status for grab cases now there's a concept of um, support reps grabbing cases if you don't have your um, case management set up maybe for default round robin or some other setup then they can manually go and grab a case right um, that so then once they've been grabbed they'll be set to in progress status for reopen cases reopened yeah I think that's good I think it's good important to split that from in progress or not started so you know they were completed and they were reopened escalated cases right there's only one option there status for closed cases closed priority for new cases medium right so start them as medium um, and then you can make them high or low 
that's up to you. You might want to start them all as high and then change them if you realize they're not high. All right, case lockout. Lock close cases after lockout period. All right, so should be just down here. Right, select the case status you want to appear by default. Sorry, priority for new cases. There it is. Check this box to lock cases from editing after have them been closed for the number of days you specify in the closed lockout field. Right, so I've got 30 days there. Right, so let's then go to notification. 